around February of that first year, um, we went to a Valentine's Day party. And when we came back, they were just like a renewed, um, better attitude kids. Um, I think just um, being around other homeschool kids and seeing, oh, we're not alone. And, um, you know, everybody has to do, you know, sit at their kitchen table and or wherever, you know, and do their work. And But we also have fun times, too. So that's um, a big thing for me is, you know, join a group and actually participate. You know, if your kids are like mine, then you need to kind of, you know, take it slow. That's totally fine. But at some point, get out there and get around some other homeschool moms and some other homeschool kids. Um, number three is kind of a scheduling thing that it took me a while to figure out. Um, my girls I knew weren't, um, have not like, they did not like math in public school. So I thought, you know what, let's start our day off with math, get it out of the way. And then, you know, we can have, you know, the, do the fun stuff the rest of the day. And so we did that for a while. And one day Cameron was just like, mom, why don't we just do math last? And I thought, well, I guess we can, you know, and that was so huge. Just, um, I think when whenever we started our day off with math, it just set the stage. It just had a negative, you know, they kind of had a negative vibe and a negative feel towards homeschooling um, for the rest of the day. And so once we put the math at the end of the day and um, we put something that they really loved at the beginning of the day, they were like coming straight from breakfast and just sitting at the bar. Um, that's where we were doing our homeschool then was at a bar. And um, it was like a game changer. Like they just they were looking forward to coming and doing that one thing that they really loved. And for Cameron, it was the daily learning notebook that's, um, I printed out from Confessions of a Homeschooler. She loved that, no that daily learning notebook. Um, and then for Ashley, it was the word ladders. And I know here, I just want to show you this really quick, but, um, and I'm sorry, we don't, we, um, I, I couldn't find the daily learning notebook, but I think everybody's seen that. So, and then this is word ladders and this is, we are still doing these. This is, um, a younger, um, the two to three, um, grades for two to three now we're doing grades four to five or four to six something like that um but huge you know find something they love that they will look forward to sitting down and doing and just kind of engross them and get them um kind of build up some in them at the beginning of the day um so that really helped us um number four um this is something that took me a while to figure out too was um, incorporating videos into your home school um, I'm not against screen time or anything like that, but we do have set times in our home um, that the girls have screen time and school really was now screen time. So once we started, um, I think we kind of ran out of our science and so we started watching brain games in place of our science and they just, and I would sit down with them. So I wasn't like shoving them off in a corner and being like, okay, I need to go do the dishes or whatever. I was sitting down with them and we were playing the games. It was very interactive. You guys never seen that show. It's pretty awesome. Um, and they really, that was something that they really looked forward to um, throughout the week and um, just changed their attitude. It was like, oh, school can be fun. We can still do fun stuff in school. So um, incorporating videos or screen time um, into your day. And the other way that we did that was also, um, you know, if you read a book, then you can go watch the movie. So that was always, that was fun too. We did that. That was another way of kind of incorporating videos into um, our school day. So another thing that was really big um, was letting my kids, now I would watch um, like curriculum review videos and I would kind of pick out my favorites and then I would have them come and watch with me. Um, what do you think about the spelling and what do you think about this history and that sort of thing? And um, it was just that really made a big difference too. Once, so this was our first year, um, last year was. And so at the end of the year, um, I was kind of pulling them aside and saying, okay, what do you think of this? And what do you think of this? And with Ashley's spelling, we actually did like a pros and cons list of all the different curriculums that we had um, researched. And um, they really liked that. They liked being able to um, have a say in, you know, are you going to do a bunch of writing? Are you going to do fill in the blanks? Are you going to do, you know, is it going to be a lot of, I don't know. <laughs> I can't think of anything, but, um, uh, you know, like Ashley had picked out spelling. You see, because she really liked um that it was going to be about animals. So that was something that really, really changed their attitudes too, because it was something completely different than, you know, public school. Um, the next thing, number six, is tweaking our setup. And so for me, um, just for the longest time, you know, I was looking for this and I couldn't find this and I couldn't remember where I put this. And um, once I kind of got everything in, you know, in its spot and um, 
kind of figured out, okay, we're going to leave these books here because that's actually where we go We go and we do our reading. So we're just leaving, leaving our reading books over here. We don't feel like we have to have everything all, all together. But whatever works for you, um, you know, work at that. If you're kind of frustrated because you're losing stuff and things just aren't, um, you know, the flow of your day isn't going great, you know, try to figure that out. And there's so many cool videos out there of organization and um, day in the life. So I think are kind of good for that too. Um, so yeah, tweak your setup until you get it to work for you. Cause that's what, um, that was a huge game changer once I got that. Um, and for me, it was probably more stress on me, um, than it was on the girls. And so of course the less stress the mom is or the teacher is the less stress that, you know, the whole, the whole vibe of the school is going to be. So, um, that was a big thing. And Number seven was um, the more hands-on activities that I do and our that we do during the day, the more um, they enjoy it, and the more they're enjoying school, the more they're learning, and the more they're learning is you know that's the ultimate goal. So um, I I just want to show you a few of the things. Um, now of course there's the obvious like science experiments which we do, um, but I just. Um, some other things that they like are like candy crafts things or just painting. So, um, we kind of just, whatever they're going to enjoy as an activity, I just feel like they're going to get something out of that. It doesn't always have to be, you know, history related or science related. So, um, one of the first things that I want to show you and, um, is we've been doing, they've been painting these peg dolls and they're so cute and they just, they just love them. And Ashley is really the one that really loves this. And this is a lipstick. Um, container from TJ Maxx and so there's just a bunch of these and so we've been doing a lot of these and so they get these and or they paint them and then they play with them and what gave me the idea was they love Little's Pet Shops so um, you know and they get like kind of the old Little's Pet Shops or whatever and the cheapy ones from garage sales and then they paint those so um, this is just kind of a little spin on that so um, you can get these um, unpainted peg dolls. Um, shoot, I should have showed you. I guess they they just come like plain wood. Um, I get these all on, bleh, on Amazon. So that's one thing that um, whenever, you know, we need a break or whatever, we'll, we'll get these out and we'll do that. Um, something else that I got these at Dollar Tree and I can't find them, but these are kits. This was $1. And, um, so this is, we have, Cameron hasn't done this one. This one is the race car. Um, but this is one that Ashley has done and it is a bulldozer. And they literally come just completely in all different pieces. And I just want to show you what the directions look like. And so they have to figure this out, like put it in the right order. And so it's not super easy, but I'll tell you what, they stuck with it and they, they really liked it. And this is one of those things that, you know, it's totally STEM activity. And um, they were like, mom, this is so fun. So um, this was what we did for one of our STEM days. So there's a hands-on activity. And then just some other ones. These are more like candy craft things, but um, a knitting doll that my grandma got him. That's so cute. Here, let me show it to you because it's like, it's so cute. And we actually had to watch a YouTube video to figure this one out. Um, but yeah, she's like a little wooden, like a big peg doll. <laughs> so she's cute. So Ashley really likes that. And then both of them have enjoyed this weaving loom. So, you know, these are just things that you pick up at Walmart and like great things to um, ask for um, for Christmas or birthdays like from ants and stuff. And they don't always like those kits, um, but the fact that, um, you know, I do that in place of something else in school, they get a real kick out of that. So um, those are just some of the game changers. Like that's what they just, just changes that just made huge, huge um, improvements in our homeschool um, for the first two years that we've been doing it. So I hope some one of these things helps you guys. Um, I gave like specific examples, but um, I think you can kind of tweak it, you know, to your own, to your own needs, you know, move your schedule around, you know, you don't necessarily have to move math or whatever, but um, so yeah, anyway, thank you so much for watching and I have a, I hope you guys are having a great day.